KK, KK, so hi KK. Um, hopefully we will be together again in person soon. So welcome to some sunrise and flow. My name is Chelsea and it is also marathon weekend. So if you ran yesterday or you're running today, good luck. Um, and if not, and you are here, thank you for being here with us today. So we are going to start on our backs in Sukta Vada Konasana. So go ahead and find your way down on your mat. And just allowing yourself to settle in. Let your knees open like a book. Soles of the feet touching. And taking a moment to allow your arms to come alongside of you, palms facing up. Gentle curl on the fingertips. Maybe you're feeling like you want to take the arms over the head. Closing down the eyes, tucking the chin just a little bit. Pulling that navel back towards the spine to take any arch out of the lower back. And coming into your body. Noticing any sensations. Any movement within yourself. And coming into this present moment, leaving whatever came before, whatever you're doing after this, leaving it off the mat. Just maybe asking yourself, what problem do you actually have in this moment right now? And then as you're here, beginning to deepen the breath, maybe taking your hands to your belly button, Feeling that connection of the palms. And in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Maybe it's slightly parted lips. Maybe you're feeling that you want that wide mouth letting go. Take one more breath in. And the breath out. And then from here, go ahead and bring your knees up, taking the soles of your feet to the ceiling. Again, taking your choice with the arms. If you want to keep them rested on the belly, alongside of you, or up. And then as you're here, Pressing through the heels, flexing the toes towards the knees, and then pointing. Flexing, pointing, maybe rolling out the ankles. And then while we're here, we're going to come onto the forearms. So bringing your hands alongside of your palms facing down, lifting the hips up. Coming onto your arms here, just a little bit. Take a breath and lift and exhale, lower the hips. So as we're doing this, pressing the heels up through the ceiling or sky, and then releasing the hips down. So just warming up our center. Breathing and lift and exhale down. Few more, breathe and lift. 
Exhale down. And then finding some stillness again, rolling out the angles. And then crossing the ankles, giving yourself a nice little roll all the way up onto your hands and knees. And then as we're here, we're going to go ahead and come into a spinal balance. So taking the right toes back, left toes are flexed, right toes spinning down towards the mat. Really press through this right heel so you're locking out this right leg. Scissoring the right thigh towards the left thigh. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Again, that idea of pulling that navel up towards the spine. Engaging here. Activating. Take another breath in. And a breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. From here, we're going to take an inhale, press through the right heel. Exhale, knee to right wrist. Take a breath in. And then exhale, take it back. Inhale, knee to wrist. Exhale back. Another breath in, knee to wrist. And exhale back. Go ahead and release the knee down. Shift your weight side to side, lifting up one palm, then the other. Fingers are nice and wide. Engaging, pressing through your mat, active tabletop to start. You can curl the right toes, send the left toes back. Take a breath in, and a breath out. Left toes are spinning down, lock out that left leg. So really engage through that upper left thigh. Pulling the left thigh into the right. Take a breath in. Breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. This time we move. Inhale, press through the left heel. Exhale, knee to left wrist. Inhale. Exhale. Just flipping the breath a little. Inhale back. And exhale. This time, inhale it back. Knee comes to the mat. Go ahead and shake out the hips. Maybe roll the wrists. Sit back on the heels if you would like. Your practice, maybe rolling out the head. And then coming right back to tabletop. So inhale, right toes back. And then this time, exhale, knee to right wrist. Inhale, draw your line up past the elbow, so to your right bicep, and then take it back. Knee comes into wrist, draw your line up, take it back. One more, knee to wrist, draw your line, engaging the belly, and take it back. One breath in here, press through the right heel, and exhale, knee to the mat. Other side, so take the left toes back. Take a breath in first. Exhale, knee to left wrist. Draw your line up to the left bicep. Take it back. Inhale, knee to left wrist. Draw your line up. Send it back. So really engaging that center. Inhale, left knee to left wrist. Draw your line up. And then go ahead and take it back. Release the knee down, shifting your weight side to side. We got one more round of these. So again, take what you need. It is a lot on the wrist. So if you need to pause for a moment, feel free to do that. And then when you're ready, coming back to that strong tabletop, making space in the shoulder blades, looking right down at the thumbs. So we're not twisting our neck. Just a nice, soft face, rooting down into our mat. Inhale, right toes back. This time, exhale, right knee to left wrist. Inhale back, knee to left wrist. One more, inhale back, knee to left wrist. 
This time, inhale it back and exhale down. Other side, left toes, send them back. Knee to right wrist, send it back. Knee to right wrist, let it go. One more, knee to right wrist, and send it back. Go ahead and release the knee down. And maybe taking an open or closed child's pose, taking the thumbs to the ceiling, releasing any tension in the neck, the shoulders, the fingertips, the wrists. Just taking a moment here, breathing in, and breathing out, letting the hips sink down, another inhale, and exhale. So this morning I'm going to work us into um, a little bit of gentle backbending with camel. So we'll, we'll go through setting that up and getting into that. So before we do that, we certainly want to warm up the spine. So go ahead and come into some cat cows at your own breath, breathing in and breathing out. So remember, these cat cows don't have to be stagnant or stiff. They're meant to be nice and fluid and flowing, warming up the spine. You can do, take your head side to side, shift the head side to side, just opening up and making some space. So coming through a few of those. And as you're doing this, coming into, let's say, cat, you're really making an awareness of pulling that belly button, that navel up towards your spine, because we're going to come back to that in camel. This idea of engaging in the center. And then finding some stillness. And then from here, we're going to keep our toes curled, Pull the heart down towards the earth, lower slowly onto the forearms. I'm going to scooch back a little bit. You might need to too. And then once you're down here at the forearms, pressing into your mat with the fingertips. And then you can start to walk yourself out into puppy dog pose. So you can take the, your third eye or that space between your eyebrows to the mat and do little circles that place of intuition, or if it feels okay, you can lift the chin and look forward. It's a really nice shoulder opener here. And for the chest, just breathing in, breathing out. And then go ahead and press into the fingertips, into the form. So you're really gripping here. You're creating this dynamic tension. So you're literally going to use this to pull yourself through into Sphinx Pose. So your choice, you can take your fingertips out to your mat, lifting the heart, or you can come into a wide Sphinx Pose, tensing the fingers, lifting the heart up. Gaze is right above the mat. Soften your toes down. Zip the legs together. Take a breath in. And a breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and release your arms down alongside of you. Releasing the chin down. And then I'm going to be talking to you, and I want to sound muffled, so my head's going to be turned, but you can bring your forehead down to your mat. And then from there, you're going to interlace the hands at the base of the back, send the fingertips down towards your heels, pressing the palms together. Take a breath and lift the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades. So as you're here, remember to breathe, but also engage that center. So this idea pulling that belly button back towards the spine, engaging there, lifting the heart. If you would like, you can zip the legs, point the toes, maybe start to float the legs off your mat. Take another breath in, 
in the breath out. One more, breathe in. And exhale, release everything down to your mat, cheek to the side, just for a moment. Letting the elbows open. And then go ahead and bring your chin back to center. And we'll do one more like that. So interlacing the hands at the base of the back. If that's not for you, just taking the hands alongside of you. Palms facing down, fingers nice and wide. Take a breath in, lift the heart. And exhale, stay here. So you're rooting your pelvic bone down into your mat. Lifting the heart, gaze is just above the mat. Pressing the palms together, if you're interlaced. If you're not, fingertips are reaching towards the back of your mat. Take one more breath in, and a breath out. Cheek to the other side. And then from here, go ahead and bring your chin back to the center of your mat. Hands alongside of you, pressing yourself all the way up and back into hero pose. So as long as it feels okay, you can sit on a block if you would like, or a book, a blanket, a pillow. No strain or pain in the knees here. So find your hero pose. Maybe cupping your hands left under the right or the right under the left. And just taking a moment here, taking a breath in, and a breath out. Another inhale, and exhale. Shoulders are dropping away, maybe closing your eyes. Take one more breath, and let it go. So to work into camel, um, if it's too much on your knees, you can take a blanket or pillow underneath your knees. And we're going to start just like we are in hero right now. And then we're going to come on to all fours just for a moment. And I want us to come back to that idea of pulling the belly button up towards the spine. And here you're going to Squeeze the inner thighs together. So if you want, you can put a block or a book to give yourself that sensation or that idea of squeezing your inner thighs together, but you, you're about hip width apart. So toes are down towards the mat. Take an inhale and exhale. So same idea, root down into the tops of the mat. Slowly start to lift up. And then from here, we're going to clip the hips. So as you're here, you're really rooting down here. Your shoulders are stacked on top of the hips. You're engaging in the core. Take a breath in. And a breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. So shoulders drop down your back. Elbow is lengthening here. Heart is lifting up. So as you're here, you can keep your, your hands clipped, or you can take them to the base of the back. So in or, or taking your thumbs and putting them right here on your sacrum. So this bone right in the center or between your lower back and your bum. So finding that space there. Taking an inhale, lifting the heart up, and exhale. So maybe you take your gaze, start to take your gaze up a little bit. Think of your heart lifting up and over like a rainbow. So you're not pressing forward, but you have this nice little connected curve going upward. And then as you're here, taking a breath in, and a breath out. Another inhale, and exhale. So this is a variation of a back bend. So if you would like, you can stay here, or you can start to reach your hands back towards your heels with one hand, and then the other. Again, keeping that upward current 
from the heart. Taking another inhale and exhale. So squeezing the inner thighs, not forgetting to engage there. And then if it feels okay, you can slowly start to take your head back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Another inhale. Exhale. Last one. Now to come up, slowly bring your chin to your chest. Bring one hand back to your hip, and then the other. And then nice and slowly come back to tabletop. And then from here, we're going to lift the toes, squeeze the ankles together. Heart comes towards the earth, squeeze and lower down. And then inhale, heart lifts into up dog. And exhale, down dog. So a lot of opening in the, in the chest and the back this morning. I'm just staying here for a few moments, coming into your downward facing dog, relaxing the head, the neck. Open, close the mouth, heels are rooting down towards your mat, fingers are nice and wide. Take an inhale here. And exhale as everything is rolling off of you onto your mat. One more breath in. And a breath out. Some sun salutation aids to start. Rise high, bend deep. Look at the hands walk, step, float. Just gonna flow through these. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears, pulling the belly button up. Release over the knees. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, let it go. So you can speed these up. You can slow them down. You can take whatever you need from them. But we're going to flow through a few times. Just getting into that breath to movement. Inhale, rise. Then you look at the hands, walk, step, float. Maybe do something different. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe your hands touch the mat this time. Exhale, tucking your head and elbows. Inhale, root from the heels, rise tall. And exhale, really lead with the heart. Head is the last to fall. Breathe in halfway. Plant the hands, step it back. Breath in. Lower down. Inhale, maybe lift the thighs. Down dog. Rise up, bend deep, look forward. Walk, step, float. Big breath in, shoulders away. Exhale. Inhale, rise, making space, reaching tall. And exhale, fall forward. Breathe in halfway. Plant the hands, step it back. Don't forget about that center. Keeping it engaged. All the way through. Breathe in, rise. Bend deep, look forward, walk, step top. Inhale halfway. Exhale, we melt. Close the eyes. Maybe see if you can do the whole sun citation sequence. With your eyes closed, does it bring something different? Does it feel different? Do you have to bring your awareness somewhere else? Rise high, bend deep, float. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in up. Let it go, softening the neck, the jaw, softening the fingertips. Let your heart lead. A few more rounds. Halfway lift. Let it go. Inhale up. And exhale, swan dive. Breathe in halfway. Plant your hands, step, or maybe you want to try hopping back to 
today or from one round. Lots of variations, lots of different things to try. They're there if you want them. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, mount. Inhale, rise, reach a little taller. And exhale, let it go. Breathe in halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, high to low. Inhale, heart lifts. And exhale, use the belly, pull yourself back. Last round, rise high, bend deep, walk, step, float. Breathe in halfway, shoulders away from the ears, flat back, melting over. Inhale, we rise up, toes lift, fingers spread. And exhale, open the heart, the chest. Breathe in halfway, plant your hands, step back, high to low. Inhale, up, down. And exhale, we meet in down dog. As you know, you can always come down to your mind anytime into child's pose, shavasana, whatever you need. Taking another breath in and a breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. I apologize for having this technology up here, but it's tricky in case something is going wrong. I don't know. Can you guys type it on there? Take another breath in. And a breath out. This time we're going to take the right toes back, hip height, new spinal balance. Take a peek at those toes. Square off the hip. Really root down towards that left in that left heel. Gaze is right between the thumbs here. Soften your face, take a breath in, and a breath out. This time, inhale, press through the right heel. Exhale, pull the knee all the way through, low lunge to start. Take a breath in here, and a breath out. One more, inhale. And exhale. So you're nice and long from the crown of your head to the back of the left heel. Inhale, rise up to crescent. You can keep your arms lifted. Or you can take a crossing at the thumbs, opening up the heart, bending the elbows. You can take your hands to your heart. Wherever you are, lengthening through your crown, rooting down into your mat. Scissoring your legs together, take a breath in, and a breath out. One more, inhale, and exhale. This time, fingertips reach high, and exhale, frame the right foot. Right foot's going to come all the way back, three-legged down dog. Let it open, shake out the leg, roll the ankle, take a breath in, and a breath out. One more inhale, and exhale. This time, inhale right leg a little higher, exhale, square the hip first, toes drop to the mat. Take an inhale to start, and exhale, heels sink, toes lift. This time, send the left toes back. Press through the left heel. If that left foot's starting to go out, pull the left thigh, inner thigh, back towards the right. Right heel sinking down, left toes are flexed. Take a breath in, and a breath out. One more inhale, and exhale. This time, press through the left heel. With control, pull it. Close to your belly first, step it through. Low lunge, tenting the fingers. And exhale. When you're ready, rise on up. Your choice of those different variations today of the arms, whatever you need, whatever your body is asking. 
asking for. Being sure that the shoulders are melting away from the ears. Hips are squared. Take one more breath in. Reach top. And exhale, frame the left foot. Pressing into the palms and into the fingertips and the left toes all the way up and back. Open up, right heel sinks. Shake out the legs, square the shoulders. All those cues. Certain ones work for certain people or work at different times. We're just trying to give you whatever you need from afar. Left heel presses towards the corner of your ceiling or if you're outside, some corner of the earth. And then toes down towards the mat. Rise high on the toes, bend deep with board walk, step float. Breathe in, halfway lift, step back. Exhale, we melt. Inhale, rise, reach tall. And exhale, let it go. Breathe in halfway. Your choice. Go through the Chaturanga Dandasana or go right to downward facing dog. Either way, we will meet you there. Once you're there, take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, step through. Take a breath in first, lifting the heart, tensing the fingers. Exhale, stay. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands through heart center. Right foot goes all the way up and back. Three legged down dog. Take a breath in. And exhale, square the hip, toes to the mat. Inhale, first. Exhale, heels sink. Breath in, left toes lift high. Exhale, pull through. Take a breath in first, tent the fingers, lift the heart. Exhale, sink into that front leg. On the ball of the right toes, rise up on your inhale. Exhale, stay. Breathe and reach top. Exhale, hands through heart center, frame the left foot. Left foot kicks back, three-legged down dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Square the hip, toes to the mat. Rise high. Bend deep, look at the hands. Walk, step, float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Let it go. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, swan back. Take a breath in halfway, and exhale, plant the hands, your choice, high, low, or down dog. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, tailbone high, down dog. Maybe shake it out a little bit, shaking the hips, shaking the head. We're going to come through that one more time of adding in a little reverse down dog. So if it's not for you, feel free to just stay in down dog once we get there. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, pull the knee through. So we move a little faster, but you don't have to. Inhale, exhale, right back down. Right foot back, three legged down dog. Exhale, this is where we flip our dog. So if you want to stay here, you can. If you want to go right to down dog, you can. If you want to flip your dog, you can start to spin on the ball of the left toes. Right foot comes down, heels sink. Right elbow comes into the right hip. Lift the hips, right arm lifts up. If you want, you can get fancy. Take the left toes out in front of you. Reaching through those right fingertips. Maybe the head is soft. Take a breath in. And a breath out. When you're ready, start to bring that right elbow back to the hip. Bend in the left foot. Sink down. And then press through that left foot and that left arm to flip your dog back over. Three-legged down dog. Toes to the mat. Take an inhale here. And exhale. 
One more breath in. Hands up, breath out. Inhale, clap, toes lift. Exhale through. Take a breath in, rise all the way up. Ooh, my hair. And exhale, right back down. Flip in the dog, flip in the hair. Left foot all the way back, three legged down dog. And then exhale, turning on the ball of the right foot. You can start to press into that right hand. Left arm lifts, sink the hips down. And then when you're ready, whew, press through. That left arm hips lift. And again, if you want to get a little fancy, you can reach that left toe out. Feels really nice to get that stretch in the whole left side of the body. Take one more breath in. Hands up, breath out. Go ahead and sink the hips back down. Press into the right hand and into the right foot. Flip your dog, three-legged down dog. Toes to the mouth. Inhale, rise. Bend knees, look towards the hands. Walk, step, hop. Breath in, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, melt, tuck the head. Inhale, rise, reach. And exhale, let it go. Another half and lift. And exhale, your choice. Step back to down dog. Or go through a chaturanga. I'm just going to pop in here to make sure there is nothing crazy going on. Okay. Take one more breath in. And a breath out here. So we did a lot of opening in the heart, well, the heart area, <laughs> not opening our hearts. Not qualified for that, but anyway, so opening up the chest, we worked into the back. So we're gonna work into the hips and some balancing. So this flow is a little bit awkward in some ways. So, just bear with me, but it's good. It's good for the hips, down. If you've been in class with me before, we've done it before. So rise high, bend deep, look forward, walk, step up. Breathing, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, melt and tuck. Inhale, rise, reach. And exhale, draw your right through center. So we're going to start by flipping our hips, shifting your weight to the left foot. Right toes are going to go out in front of you, so press through your right heel, flexing the right toes, grounding through that left leg, so you have a nice, strong, big toe balancing pose right here. Taking a breath in, and a breath out. Slight bend in that left leg, take one more, inhale, maybe lift it a little higher, and then exhale. So this time we're going to breathe in, lengthen, and exhale, slowly just start to squat, leaving that right leg lifted just to where you feel kind, of, you feel your spot. So if you can get your hips in line with the knees, great. If you can't, great. Just where you feel like your space is uncomfortable. So strengthening the left ankle and leg, working into that right hip and flexor, pressing through that right heel. And inhale, right back up. Take a breath and lengthen the spine is tall. Exhale, sink. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. This time, inhale up. Exhale, right leg comes to the top of the left thigh for a little figure four pose here. So engaging the right foot, flexing the right toes. You can clip your hips, hands to heart. If you want and it feels okay, you can start to sit your hips down. Taking a breath in. And a breath out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. If you fall, just come right back in. Shoulders are dropping. One more. Breathing in. And breathing out. Nice and slow and controlled. Start to rise back up. You can keep your hands here, 
Work with the hips. Right foot's going to go back to warrior three. I know that left leg is tired. It's okay. It's just tired. Turning those right toes down towards your mat. Hands to heart. Out in front of you. To a T. Maybe behind you. Taking one more breath in. And a breath out. Big bend in this left knee. Right foot comes up to meet the right. Hips sink down. Reach the arms up high. Think chair pose, but we are going to be pretending, or we are going to be falling in our chair pose to the ground. So, be careful. Take your time and use your hands. They're there to help you. So, hands to your heart. Heart lift, squeezing the legs together. Slowly start to lower the hips. Once you've gotten to about hip to knee, you can start to release the hands down if it feels okay and right. If you feel like you want to take the hips past the knees, that's fine too. Once you're there, hands have to drop. Legs kick out in front of you, bow pose. Palms lift, toes spread, heart lifts. So again, using that center, we're not, we're not deferring or dumping into the hip flexors here. Take another breath in. And a breath out. Maybe close the eyes. Inhale. And exhale. Cross the ankles. Hands over the knees. Your choice. You can jump, hop, whatever you need to get back to down dog. Breathe in. And a breathe. Breath out. And then from here, we're going to walk our toes towards our wrists. Inhale, half of the flat back. Exhale, melt. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Flip the hips, shift the weight to the right leg. When you're ready, send the left toes out. Engage this left leg so it's not soft. You're really activating, pulling the left thigh into the right. Right leg is nice and strong, micro bend in the knee. Heart lifts, breath in, breath out. Two more, inhale, and exhale. So you're growing taller while rooting down. One more, breath in, and a breath out. Lift the left toes a little higher, and then exhale, left ankle to the left side. Does not need to be graceful. Getting there, once you're there, your choice of your hands, setting the hips down. I will encourage you to activate this foot, to open up that left hip, bending into that right knee. Breath in, breath out. Two more. Letting go. One more breath in. And the breath out. And then when you're ready, slowly start to rise up. Bringing that left leg close to the right leg. And sending the heart forward, left leg back, toes spinning down towards your mat. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. With control, this right leg is guiding you, so you're really activating this right leg. It's pulling the left leg to meet it. Give it a kiss. Sink the hips down, arms lift. Take a breath in. And then exhale, slowly squeezing the legs together, making your way down. Again, once you get there, hips in line with the knees, you can drop the hands. If you want to go a little further, bringing your weight into your heels. And then if you want, you don't have to bring your hands down to the mat. You can just sit your bottom down, legs come out, heart lifts, bow pose, breathe in. Breathe out, just you and both. You and boat. 
just breathing, like you're floating on an ocean or a lake or a body of water. Maybe straighten the legs, one more breath in, and exhale, cross the ankles up and over the knees, make your way back, downward facing dog, let it feel good, breathing in. And breathing out. One more here, breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, knee to right wrist, half pigeon. Curl the left toes, send the left foot back. We're gonna be here for a few moments. So find your comfy and uncomfiness. Heel to that right foot forward. Go through maybe the cues that you know that work for you, lifting up the heart up and over that front leg. Down to a block, a pillow, your forearms, making fists. You're starting to shift or roll to the right, stuffing a nice little pillow or a block right here so you can stay grounded in your center. So in that midline. Just breathing in, you're making space in the body. Now with each breath out, you're sinking a little deeper into that space. slowly start to lift your heart, coming into straight arms, maybe pausing here for a moment, pressing into your mat, lifting the heart, growing tall through the crown, and sinking into this front leg for one more moment. And then curling the left toes, pressing yourself up, right leg goes all the way up and back. Three leg down dog, shake it out. Feel that release running through that right leg. And then squaring the hip, toes come to the mat. Left toes rise, knee to left wrist. Curl the right toes, inch that right leg back. Soften the right toes. Maybe your gaze is soft over the nose, lifting your heart up, and then just melting over that front leg, heel towing that left foot forward a little bit. And sinking in whatever is coming up while you're here. Just noticing it, watch it float by, let it go.
how we move through things and do things somehow the next moment is better than the one happening right now as if we're in some type of obstacle that we need to get to the next When you're ready, come into the straight arm. Taking that moment again to press into the fingertips, lift the heart, pausing here for a moment. Curl the right toes, lift the right knee, press in your mat away from you, left leg comes all the way up, shake it out, release it all. Square the hip, toes to the mat. Take a breath in. Hands our breath out. Coming on to your hands and knees. Making your way down towards your back. To your back, which is towards your back. Arms alongside of you. So we're going to come into bridge since we did a lot of camel warming up and working into our backs. So you can take your arms alongside of you, pressing into the soles of the feet. If you want, check in by reaching towards your right heel, left heel. Then when you're ready, pressing into all four corners of the feet, all of the fingertips and the palms. Taking a big breath in and exhale, lifting the hips high into your version of bridge. So squeeze the inner legs together, envision that block there. While you're here, you're slowly going to start to lose engagement. So coming right back to that activation. And if it feels okay, you can roll your right shoulder under than your left, maybe interlacing the hands, pressing into the pinky side of the hands, lifting up. Maybe closing the eyes or maybe watching the rise and fall of your breath in your belly. One more breath in. And exhale, lower the hips. Take our knees side to side, arms overhead. And then bringing the soles of the feet together, just like the beginning of class, letting the knees open, envisioning them being drawn up towards the ceiling, the sky, the heavens, and then releasing them down. Making sure there's no arch in the lower back, tucking the chin. Sinking down, sinking in, giving yourself permission to rest, to release. Maybe finding a space in the body, typically in the hips or the shoulders, or you're still holding on, even though you're in this restorative pose, you may notice you're still tense in the neck, or the jaw, or the hips, or the ankles. If you're tense, you're human. So just notice. And then maybe Release. And then bringing your knees back together, taking a nice good morning, good afternoon, stretch, evening if maybe you're watching this on YouTube, I will eventually. Fingertips to toes, reaching nice and long like you are rising in a sun A. And then exhale, just like you're letting go in a sun A. Swan diving down and release into your Shavasana, final resting pose. I find Shavasana. 
Shavasana is more challenging at home. Maybe you do too. Giving yourself permission to be here. Taking in your practice. Settling in between sleep and awake. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, rolling your head side to side, maybe rolling over to your right. For one more moment as I read you a quote. We all have a bag. We all pack it differently. Some of us are traveling light and some of us are secret holders who have never parted with a memory in our lives. I think we are all called to figure out how to carry our bag to the best of our ability, how to unpack it, and how to face the mess. I think part of growing up is learning how to sit down on the floor and figuring out what to take with you and what to leave behind. eyes closed, coming to a comfortable seated position. Hands can be at your knees, your heart, your third eye. Taking a deep breath in. And a breath out. Let's do one more. Breathe in. And let it go. Thank each of you for coming out and sharing your practice with me today. The peace and light within me honors the peace and the light within each of you. Namaste.